Beaver's Bend State Park. So nice, we had to see it twice. Yep, me and the boys are back in Oklahoma's most visited state park. And this time, we're getting a bit more wet and wild. But before we set out, we're fueling up at Beaver's Bend Lodge. The newly renovated lodge features 40 rooms with jaw-dropping views of Broken Bow Lake. Hey, that view's not too bad either. All right, first up on our itinerary, a new fit. So I popped on over to the Hochstein Hideaway at the Forest Heritage Center Museum to try out some looks. I think this shirt's too big. <laughs> and this shirt's too small. But this one is just right. So next time you're in the park, be sure to stop by for all your Beaver's Bend souvenir needs. And uh, tell them Teddy sent you. You know, southeastern Oklahoma is no stranger to critters, but Beaver's Bend Safari Park gives critter a whole new meeting. We had to check it out, so I met up with owners Aaron and Kyle to get the scoop. We're at the Safari Park, so tell me, how big is this place? This is massive. I know. We're on 90 acres. Wow. Yes, the first, the cabins are on the 80, and then this came the 10. So you are, you are building some cabins out here? Yes, we okay. well, yes, we have two on the property that the animals kind of surround the property and the cabin. So you can wake up and have coffee and see bongos and Eland and all those things. It's really neat. So you do a self-guided tour here. How long does a self-guided tour take? The road itself through the park is about a mile and a half. Okay. And you can expect about 45 minutes, five miles an hour. We do encourage booking online, but you could always come in the gift shop. Well, after getting a lay of the land from Aaron, it was time to see it for myself. So I hitched a ride with park owner Kyle to get a behind the scenes look. Yeah, what made y'all want to do this? Build, build a safari park out here. We want to give some more, more experience with education for the youth out here, for kids. And then more or less, you know, with our family center going up front here, um, it's just to bring the families together and have a good time out here. Yeah. So. It's just neat already just driving through or just, yeah. I mean, I think we're being watched. I oh think. yeah, you're, you're you're always being watched. Every time oh. you drive to the park, you're being watched. Man, they're yeah. Yeah, and they they, they nothing said, to be scared of there, right? You're no, nothing no. to be scared of. No. Okay, yeah. I didn't bring I didn't bring protection. <laughs> hey, goat. That, that is, is a, a goat, right? Yeah. No, that's an attic. <laughs> oh, that's not a goat. <laughs> no. So tell me about your pride and joy. I'm sure we're coming up on him. King George. King George. King George. He's a massive bison. Uh -huh. <laughs> he barely fit in the trailer when we got him. And then our elk too is one of the non-typical elks out here that share a pen with King George. So, okay. so, long, so far they get along. So they, they lay in the same water <laughs> water tank all day together. Okay. Here he is. So this is the elk. Wow, he's gorgeous. He's a big boy. So you guys pretty much having plans. You can, so someone can spend the entire day out here. Yeah, yeah. It's not just so an hour visit. Come to the park, enjoy the species, and then just basically just bring your families together and make memories. Well, I needed to stretch my legs after all that touring. Luckily, Beaver's Bend boasts over a dozen hiking trails. To keep us on track, we met up with April and Lauren from Two Lost Girls Trails for a guided hike through the Wachita National Forest. We are Two Lost Girls Trails, and we're gonna take Teddy out hiking today. As you all know, I got all ready for hiking. I got my boots, jeans. Typically, you would need something a little bit more comfortable than boots. What's more comfortable than boots? Water would be, you know, nice necessity to bring as well. Come on guys, we're gonna start out on the tree trail. Let's go. Leaves of three, let it be. You do not want to go to the bathroom and use this for toilet paper. I don't remember that. How did the two Lost Girls trails come about? Lauren and I, we've actually been friends for 20 plus years and we decided we wanted to do something to connect with nature. And so we started hiking again. Do I really need a guide? Like what's the benefit of having a guide? The point of a guide is when you come to visit here, you don't just get a hiking experience. You get some history of our area. You get to hear about how our state park was created. So you guys give an education as they're exploring. Yeah. That is really cool. So that's it's a like huge a benefit. history lesson. I love it. Getting to see nature without the fear of getting lost or, you know, having Sasquatch take you. Yeah. Her name's Patty, by the way. We're, I mean, we're talking, you know, but I don't know, we're just good buds. Okay. So April real, truly is beautiful out here. Hiking gives you that opportunity to disconnect from your 
nine to five office job. And it gets you out here in nature and you get to see all of this gorgeous creation and living on Hocha time. I love that saying. Well, I think I need a drink of water. You wanna head back? Yeah, let's <clears> go. <throat> That'd be great. Turns out I needed much more than a drink of water. I'd worked up quite a sweat. So we headed to the lower Mountain Fork River to cool down. I think it's safe to say, <laughs> old Teddy, that boy's a natural. Well guys, thanks for coming join me down here in Beaver's Bend State Park. And just like the days of old, of our ancestors from 100 years ago, I'm gonna be roughing it tonight outside in a tent. We'll see you next time. I'm Teddy Owens. Good night. Teddy, hmm? it's not roughing it. At least it's outside. Yeah.